what is up everybody today we are going back to the gs 300 to try and swap out the fuel pump and uh, maybe see what else is going wrong with it so we can get it started today So I just got to the car. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to check all the fluids, make sure those are all good, and then I'm going to go through and check all the fuses, see if there's any blown fuses, and then depending on that, we'll see if uh, that fuel pump actually needs to be swapped out or not. So I checked all the fluids, all of them were either a little bit low or they were good, so fine. So now I'm going to pull out the rear seat and then see if the uh, fuel pump is priming. Yeah, so there's like no noise coming from back there, so I don't think the fuel pump's priming. I checked all the fuses for the, the fuel pump and everything. So, uh, go ahead and take the fuel pump out and swap it out for a new one. So there is the fuel pump assembly all taken out. Uh, the actual fuel pump itself is right there. Um, so now I just need to take apart basically the assembly and then I'll be able to get to the fuel pump itself and swap that out for a new one. All right, uh, so I got the fuel pump all swapped out. Um, that is the old fuel pump and that's the old strainer so I changed both of those out um, it was easier than I thought it was gonna be I uh, just had to use a bunch of screwdrivers and pliers to pull all the parts apart and then 
Um, I already got it put back together and it is installed already. I just have to reconnect the connector and put the plate back over it. Um, it should be good to go. So I'm just gonna reconnect it and then reconnect the battery and see if it actually primes this time. All right, so um, usually when it used to start it, it sounded really flat, like there wasn't any fuel, like fuel getting to the cylinders. So now when I crank it, it actually feels like there's some it doesn't feel as flat like you can actually feel like the the engine wanting to to start so. I might go get some starting fluid and see if that helps um, yeah you can hear it like it wants to it really wants to start. I don't know if it, the battery's just too low now from trying to start it all these times. Um, so I think we're really close to actually getting it started now. So uh, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and I'll see if I can actually get it started now. All right, uh, so I kept trying to crank it or get it started and it still doesn't want to start. Uh, I ran the OBD scanner again on the, on the car and it, actually came with a code for the throttle position sensor and when I was looking online that was a pretty common thing that would cause a non-start so I think I have to replace the throttle position sensor but right now I am going to run out to Phoenix to pick up a new bumper for the car so all right so I just got the bumper and it is and basically perfect condition I don't think there's any scratches on it or anything looks really good so um, take that home and then I also got the tail light and the, the metal bumper that goes behind the cover and the styrofoam thing too so I just need to figure out how those attach to this back here and then pull out this dent and it should be all set for repairing the rear end on it and then I think I just need to get a throttle position sensor that should be good so probably gonna do that right now and then just head home for the day so thank you all for watching and make sure to like and subscribe